Hey guys, Lego Empire bringing you guys another video today. Today we are looking at all the sets that have come out in the last 72-ish hours and stuff that we will be seeing. And there are some updates on the older sets we've heard about. Um, so, uh, and well, a little bit of Cody stuff. Anyway, so, what's going on right now? Well, uh got a bunch of Legos that I'm trying to build, but have not had the time to build them. So, there's that. Um, but jumping into the news while you guys are actually here, um, with Star Wars Celebration in full swing, we actually had a few things discussed. So first things first, we have the BD-1 buildable. Um, I think at some point in the last year, they said they were never going to build a BD-1 Lego, and now we have one. We have two. We have the one in that's buildable, like the bigger R2 unit, and then we also have the small mini uh, in the Mandalorian Starfighter. So neat and I, I there's also a small one in the buildable bd1 the difference is just the color so there's that now uh yeah so that's cut that is releasing and the bd1 figure let me see if i have anything details for you guys um buildable bd1 is gonna be a thousand and sixty two pieces and it's probably going to be a hundred dollars when it comes out and it comes out august 1st it is available for pre-order on the lego website right now and it is yeah it's a hundred dollars And so we have that. And then alternatively, we have a couple other things that have been re released slash leaked as well. So the Andor show was finally shown. They actually got a full trailer the other day, uh, Friday after Kenobi had released that, that morning. Um, and Andor has actually getting one set. And we actually have that set. It is called The Ambush on Ferrix. I'm assuming that's the planet that he starts out on. And it is $70. And it is set number... I am looking for it, but I'm not finding it. Set number 75338. Like I said, it's $70. It comes with like a shuttle, it comes with Andor, it comes with a pilot. And then it comes with another figure. Uh, do I think the... Yeah, so it comes with... Yeah, so, okay, no, it's, it's three name figures, actually. So it's Cassian Andor, Luthen, Rail, and Cyril Karn. It's probably those two are two of the characters in the show. Uh, obviously, the show's not out, so we don't know how much or how important those characters are. Um, but it's definitely neat, and Mr. Andor does have a really good new look, comparatively to what we had when Rogue One came out all those years ago. And those are the two newest sets that were announced as of, like, yesterday evening. Um, we do have some updates and some review or reveals of the... Uh, Inquisitor's Transport Scythe and Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter from Episode 2. So, the Inquisitor Scythe is $100, and it comes with four figures. It comes with Obi-Wan with his Shaw from the first two episodes of Obi-Wan, obviously, spoilers. Um, and then also the ship comes with the fifth brother, the third sister, and the Grand Inquisitor himself. And overall, I'm pretty pleased with all this. I know some people are saying that they wish the Grand Inquisitor had his hat, or his little neck piece, but I think these figures are solid. I think the third-party vendors will cover things that they don't have, like hats, etc., and it'll look a lot better. But as for like what this set gives you for hundred dollars, you get a great-looking ship in red and black. You get Obi-Wan, who's like sort of young, sort of old, and you get three Inquisitors. It's awesome. Absolutely a slam dunk set. Gonna do gangbusters this year. Uh, this set also comes out August first. I believe all these sets do come out August first. It's gonna be a massive wave. So, um, it's going to have 924 pieces, and it is set 75336. And it has a pretty cool box art. On the box art itself, it shows the Anakin and Obi-Wan fighting lightsabers. So, that's definitely something neat. I do like this theme that they're going with, but the thing is, I hope these themes are reused. I hope these aren't just like one and done, like the Bad Batch. I know that we might get more Bad Batch sets, but... I, I would like to see more banners with the Bad Batch and the 330 or the 332nd yeah ahsoka's clones on them like like uh the saber tank but i mean this is how they're showing clone wars so i'm hoping we get more clone wars sets but we'll see um and then also the others the last and more most exciting set at least for me is obi-wan's jedi starfighter set 75333 it is 30 dollars, and it comes out august 1st and the set itself is i would say it leaves more to desire 
I'm excited to see what mocks do. Um, I will be going through Starfighter September, and I will build some mock Starfighters then. But basically, I'm gonna put a picture on screen for this set, and it comes with R4 and comes with Obi Wan from Episode Two with his cloak with a changeable headpiece, and it also comes with da 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 da. Kaminoan, the very first one we've ever had. And it's different. It's not a mini doll. It's got the leg piece of like Leia uh, or Amidala. And then it has a very longish neck. Uh, I'm assuming that the neck piece is probably like the head piece maybe slides in. I'm not sure how that connection point is. I'm assuming they make it really sturdy because it's their first one. And they're probably going to reuse it for one or two more sets. Now at this time, the only thing in the set has 282 pieces, and it also comes out August 1st. The, oh, forgot, R4 does not have bag printing. Um, unlike R2 from Dagobah, he does not have any special printing at all. R2 is the only one with bag printing right now. I'm drink a drink of water, sorry. Oh, that's so much better. All right, so... I think that's all the news for things we have. So there's a couple things that we have coming in the way of shows and some news with some other stuff. So it was revealed yesterday there is a Omega figure that Lego is making. It's coming. And it's probably going to be in the Justicar or the Justifier, or whatever you, whatever the name of his set is, um, for Cad Bane, his ship. Um, so it comes with Cad Bane. There's rumors it comes with an Echo, or not Echo, the rumor comes with Hunter. Uh, it comes with Omega, and it comes with uh, Toto, Toto uh, Cad Bane's assistant. We will see when the set is actually revealed. I'm assuming we're not going to see the set until maybe like a month or two. They want to have some news that they want to throw around during the summer to keep Lego pe people interested, I'm assuming. Um, there's also another set we haven't talked about, which is uh, the ATT. Uh, Commander Cody is having a different helmet, but it's sort of a mixed bag it's definitely a commander cody phase two that we're getting but it's not like it's going to be something that we i would say let's wait and see it before we make our judgment i would not praise anything i'm happy we're getting it but could the figure be better probably but we'll see how long it is. we'll see if it's another two decades before we get another one anyway uh what else do we have here uh, the Ahsoka TV show, the Mandalorian Season 3 TV show, uh, Andor, and Star Wars Skeleton Crew are the four shows that are, we're currently looking at for next year and beyond. And all of those have some pretty cool premises. I'm going to delve into them later in another video, and uh, maybe I'll give each one their own video. We'll see. Um, season 3 Mandalorian is going to be going over uh, his fight or his struggle with Bo-Katan and him having the Darksaber. It's going, and then there's Ahsoka, which is the Ahsoka TV show. We have no idea if it's related to Rebels at all. And what else? Um, Skeleton Crew, kind of unknown. Um, there is a plot out there. I have not looked it up. I kind of want to watch. I want kind of want to see a trailer before I watch the plot of it because the plot gets not a whole lot cool, and the trailer could ruin it, or the the trailer could make it so much better, and the plot could ruin it. So. I'm going to hold off for that for at least, you know, six, seven months. Um, maybe I'll go into it if we actually get some news, but as of right now, there's nothing for it. Um, then there's a couple other things coming as well. So Star Wars Not the Old Republic remake is supposedly coming out next year. Uh, I hope so, because that would mean maybe more Revan, more Old Republic stuff. If Lego made even one set out of that. Um, puts a little Revan on the box, it'd be so cool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Um, and what else do we have here? Um, that's about it. Oh, um, Mandalorian Starfire releases in two days, so check your local local Lego stores, check your local Targets, and etc. Um, is there anything else that I can't think of? Um, I think that might be it. Um, obviously we're getting one episode of Kenobi every week going forward, so we might get more sets around Christmas or in spring of next year or the January wave, but we'll have to wait and see. 
Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about what LEGO Star Wars is doing. Things could definitely be better. Uh, keep an eye out for the videos coming near you. I'm going to be doing Darth Vader's Castle. Probably if I can bring myself to open that box. Uh, I might try to put it somewhere back here, but we'll see. I want to open it. Um, alternatively, um, I have the sets that I have recently purchased. I did not put them... I don't think the unboxings were in my previous video. I think they were in the last one I tried to make, and then more content came out, so I thought I would just redo this whole thing. So I have the... Grievous speeder bike chase from Revenge of the Sith, and I have a sealed Krennic shuttle with extra death troopers. So, pretty exciting. Um, I'll have those probably built. I'm definitely gonna have Krennics built this week because that's a really cool set I want to build, and I have Monday off. And I don't know when I'm gonna build the Revenge of the Sith set because I need to get a part replaced. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm so tired, but uh, that's pretty much all I have for the news this week. Um, I hope you guys have a great, um, happy holiday with your family. Go outside, burgers, hot dogs, uh, standard fare, and I will see you guys in the next one.